this look like? Are you afraid of the dark? <laughs> hey everyone, happy Sunday. It is actually 11.34 on Sunday. So I'm really starting the week off early in the vlog, but it's because I have something that I really want to open and um, I wanted to do it on camera with you. So welcome to our bed vlog. Um, this looks like Are You Afraid of the Dark? I'm trying to like help out the lighting a little bit, but it's fine. You don't really need to see me. Anyways, this is another perfume that I wore a lot in the 90s. And as you can see, I just ripped it open because I was excited, but I haven't opened this at all yet. So this is um, Curve for women. And I remember, and I remember wearing this, but I don't, I don't know that I could describe the smell to you. Even after, oh my God, the bottle. <sighs> Y'all, I was obsessed. Okay, also my lighting in my room is blue at night because it helps you fall asleep. Anyways, I wore this all the time. Okay. So the little classic green, I don't know what it smells like. I'm scared. I'm nervous. Okay. Oh my God. Isn't it crazy how scents can just like transport you back into time? Wow, I'm gonna cry. Okay, that was, that was even better than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> so, happy Sunday. Welcome to the vlog. I have two very different things to show you really quickly. You're gonna hear stuff in the background. My kids are here. Anyways, um, here's the first thing. It is a bunny shaped cake that one of my daughters made. I really encourage them in the kitchen with baking and cooking. Uh, my daughters right now. My son does help me, but my daughters can both cook decently well. My oldest daughter can create full on meals that I've taught her like spaghetti and stuff like that. My eight year old um, can brown ground beef and add like seasonings and stuff like that. It's important for me that they learn that kind of stuff. The other thing that I got is a bag of a thousand worms. So I need to get them out of this bag because they were shipped in it and I feel really bad. And then I need to rehydrate them. And these are the worms that are gonna go into the composting bin that we made last week, that sub pod. So I'm actually not even done editing the vlog yet, but I need to get them out of here. Let me show you what's in here. Worms. Good morning. It is Tuesday. I thought I would get a chance to film yesterday, but I didn't. So I think the only clip I have so far is me opening up my Curve perfume, which I'm wearing right now, actually. So today is Tuesday. It's 9 a.m. I am gonna go pick up some medicine for myself and then I have some gift cards for the Cheesecake Factory. So I think we'll go do that together. They actually have a lot of vegan options, so I'm excited. Let's go. Ooh, this is what I'm looking like right now. I could actually go change, but this is what I look like. So I just got done feeding my family dinner. I look a lot different than I did earlier when I was going out to lunch. By the way, it was absolutely delicious. I did film it, but I did it for a TikTok, so we'll see if that comes out or not. 
I'm starting to do what I did on YouTube last year when I like practiced filming things. So that's what I'm doing now for TikTok so that I can do like compilations of my day or things that I'm eating or something like that. So it was delicious though. I could only eat like half of it. So I have the rest of it here. In less exciting news, um, my plants inside are struggling a little bit. So while the plants outside are thriving, excited for the sunshine, the plants inside now are, I don't know what they're trying to do. So we'll start with the Arrow Garden um, 24 and then we're gonna go to the other Arrow Garden because that one has the most problems right now and it's causing me the most frustration. All right, here's the 24 XL. This is currently what we're working with, my tomatoes. I've gotten 11 tomatoes so far, I think. And then obviously, as you can see, there's a lot more that are ready. And we're getting new growth, which is like this bright green right here. So I'm going to cut back a little bit. Tomato plants in what I've discovered like to be pruned. So I'm going to prune some of this off that is not helping the plant and just taking its resources. And then I want to show you what's happening over here. Okay, so I don't know if you remember, but that petunia that we thought died did not and actually has one flower coming up too. So that's exciting. Here is the bell pepper and it is looking very good so far. And I've just been throwing things that I take off of plants like this today, right directly in here. Throw it into the food cycler, let it do its thing and then it'll come out all fixed. Here is where we're currently at with this arrow garden. I moved the snapdragon over here, cilantro, and bell pepper. The problem is we have thrips over here. So I have to decide if we're gonna just chuck all these because I've been trying to treat them and it's not working great. Did you come here? What the hell? Oh, there I am. Why are you sitting like that? You on my thing, ma'am. Okay, thank you. The star of the show are the animals. You just star to show. Hey, <laughs> happy Wednesday. I I tried to film a little bit yesterday, and you can get down. Okay. I love you. Hello, happy Wednesday, happy hump day. I filmed a little bit yesterday, but my kids were very loud. And it's a loudness that I don't think I'll be able to like edit around. So if I don't actually end up including that footage, I did clean up my arrow gardens yesterday. My smaller one is infested with thrips right now. It's the first infestation I've had in my arrow gardens. And I'm kind of, annoyed. <laughs> so I dealt with that and then I pruned my tomatoes and got a lot more of them. I just took a shower which is why my hair is wet still. It is noon and I worked outside this morning and got disgusting and then it started to like rain so I came inside and took a shower. I like daytime showers because I can just dry off naked walking around my house. <laughs> Anyways, I am starving. So instead of ordering food, which I'm trying to do less of, trying to eat out less, just because it's never filling and it's always so expensive, I'm going to make nachos. So I have this um, Siete vegan refried beans. This will last me a few times. I'm someone who, once I find something that I like to eat, I will eat it until I can't stand looking at it anymore. A good example of that is the TikTok pasta. I made that for, I think like two weeks straight. And then one day I was like, this is repulsive. I can't eat this anymore. <laughs> so I do that a lot. Um, and my current obsession is vegan nachos. While we're on the subject of cooking and showing you guys what I eat, I have started creating a list of YouTube ideas and what I eat in a day and what I eat in a week are both on those things. So if you're interested in it, which you guys say, just put whatever you want in these videos because you're the best and you're so supportive, so thank you. 
um, I have to go make this food or I am going to be a raging bitch in a second because I get hangry. So, okay. <laughs> this is currently how I'm making my vegan nachos. I use uh, tortilla chips, the refried beans. I, this is all I have left, but I have more over there, just not cut up. Tomatoes, onions. I've been really liking this chunky guacamole that you can buy. I know it's not authentic, but as someone who's trying to ease their way into guacamole, this is really good. Cilantro, which by the way, the cilantro method is incredible. So you just fill it up with water, shove it in the water, and then put something over it. And I've just been using this like baggie, put it over it and it stays fresh for a really long time actually. Um, jalapeno peppers, jalapenos, jalapenos. This salsa, which is from New Mexico, it's so good. These are the chips we'll be using. Have you guys seen the, ch the cost of chips has gone up like I was grocery shopping the other day and I looked at the price of chips and I was like, they lost their damn minds. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm paying that. I don't have any vegan cheese except for Parmesan, which I won't be putting on there. Um, I could make like a, oh, I think I have cashew cheese actually. I'm gonna take my medicine really quickly for the morning. I'm feeling a little anxious and I don't really know why. So that tells me that I'm probably not really grounded in my body right now. My head is just off thinking about things that I don't need to be worrying about. So I'm gonna take my medicine, I'm gonna stretch and do some yoga. I've been toying with the idea of doing a morning meditation and is that a cat? Hades? Luna? Mm. How's your water today? You taking care of yourself? You better be. Because I love you and I want you to take care of yourself. Uh, okay, so I'm feeling a little anxious. Cause is unknown, so I'm going to stretch, do some yoga, make a list, and figure out what it is I'm stressed about. I think I'm stressed because I have all of these ideas for things I want to do um, here on YouTube or on other platforms, and it's just sitting in my head. And if I allow ideas to just sit up here and I don't get them out, then I will, my anxiety just like ramps up. So, um, I do want to do a disclaimer about marijuana. So coming up, I finally got a subscription for actual flower, which I didn't have before because I don't smoke it. So I have a prescription now for the flower. Mm. And this is cakes. I want to make a butter out of this. And if you recall, um, for Christmas and my birthday, I got something that can help me make can of butter. And then I can take that can of butter and do things like use it on my toast or put it in brownies, some vegan brownies. I have vegan butter set aside for it. So I'm going to try to do that. I'm a little nervous, but I think I'm psyching myself out of it. Also, I don't have a grinder because like I said, I never have flour. So that will be interesting. You're not supposed to grind it up really fine, but it needs to be somewhat ground. So maybe I'll do that later today, depending on how I feel. I would love to be able to make compound butters or oils because I have coconut oil I could use it in. Okay, a few hours later, I haven't stretched, I haven't done anything. I tried to take a nap. I don't know. Today is just feeling really weird and my body is hurting. 
more than usual, but I haven't been stretching. So I've been having this reoccurring fear where I get locked out of my house because it's almost happened twice in the past week. So if something like that happens to me, then I take that as a sign that I need to do something. So I did buy ordering a new lock for the front door so that if I do get locked out, I have a way to get inside. This is something that I've wanted for a while but could never really justify it because it's really expensive for what it is. But I wanted this one specifically because it comes with a keypad, a lock, a fingerprint, and it has an app. So I want there to be fail safe ways to get back in. Okay. Anyways, let's um, replace this. I've never done this before. Like a lot of things I do in my house, I've never done before. But I can usually figure them out, so. Oh my God, there's like, look at all the freaking deadbolt edition. This looks complicated. I can do it though. Oh God, there's math involved. I don't know what any of this is. And then this goes like this. And there's a little thing on the side. This is heavy. today and do you see that zucchini and there's another one and there's another one right there how exciting and see how much happier the tomato plant already is Tons more that are ready to come off, too. It's just so cool. Oh, that one is ready to come off. Love it. That feels better. Excuse me, quiet on the set, please. Happy Thursday. It is nasty and stormy and rainy outside. And so what I wanna do right now is take a nap. But my coolant light came on this morning and so I have to go up to Volkswagen around lunchtime. I'm sorry. 
Um, excuse me. And so what I'm going to do now is move my body, even though that's not what I want to do, because I know that future me will be so thankful that I did. And so when I'm having high pain days like today and yesterday, my initial gut reaction is to lay down and to cover myself in heating pads and not move. But I know that I will be more sore and in more pain later if I do that. So I'm just gonna move. And I put on a robe because I was wearing a dress. <sighs> so if you're feeling like you don't wanna move today, that's okay. But if you could just get in a few minutes, I'm sure your body will be so thankful. Even if you have to dance, that's something that helps me a lot. Um, or being on this ball. Dun, 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 dun. My cats are a mess. Ooh, I'm going to fall. <laughs> oh, no. Na, na, na. Na, na, na. Lifting your heart. Even if you don't have pain, you probably could benefit from doing neck stretches because a lot of us are sitting on our phone like this all day and it really messes with your neck. And so even just doing a few neck stretches every day will feel really good. And I'm wearing matching socks today, which I never do. Do 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 do. Okay, well at least not these socks. And tell me, did the wind sweep you off your feet? Did you finally get you to dance along the light of day? Y'all getting one angle today. <laughs> Ow. I swear I wore sunscreen today. I know it doesn't look like it though. Hey friends, happy Friday. Welcome to the weekly wrap up. I took my daughters to the fair today.
this is the first time I've really been out in public since the pandemic started. And y'all, I'm feral. Like I am not used to being around a lot of people. It was not comfortable for me at all. But I went and while I made sure that everyone else was wearing sunscreen, as I'm sure you can see, I missed a little bit when it came to me. If you didn't know, I actually worked for a dermatologist for a while, right out of medical assisting school. I That was where I like did my hours, and they ended up hiring me there. Um, and I actually assisted with the Mohs surgery, which is like the surgery that they do for skin cancer. Um, of the face and the ears and the tops of the hands and you would not believe how many people get skin cancer on the tops of their hands because if you think about it you're driving a lot and um, it's just a very missed area so wear your sunscreen at myself too don't worry Overall, I feel like this week was very chaotic for me. I feel like I didn't really film a lot and I'm not feeling great about the vlog, but I haven't really looked over the footage since I've shot it, so I'm not sure what we're working with. But I hope that it's entertaining to you, and I hope that you get something out of it. Even if it's just hearing me talk in the background while you're doing other things, like cooking dinner or doing dishes, I appreciate you being here. I spent a little bit more time on Twitter this week, and I can absolutely tell when I've spent too much time on Twitter or any social media because I can feel my energy just really being drained. And I recognized that it was happening this week, and so I took a little bit of a step back, but I don't think it was enough. I think that I'm really still being affected by everything that I'm reading, and this is just a reminder that we're not meant to consume the news and the media in the in the way that we are right now. While the internet has been an incredible tool for us, it's also been really detrimental to our mental health and how we are able to process emotions. And so I want to encourage you to take care of yourself and I will continue to do the same for myself. And I think that just catching it this week, it was a really good um, step for me because I haven't been able to catch it as it's happening really. I'll catch it a little bit later when I'm so burnt out and so tired and so drained of all of my energy and by then it's like nothing will help me. I really just have to like detox. So I think it feels good to be able to recognize that it's a problem and address it now. I think a lot of what we're running into is that a lot of the hate and the awful, nasty, hurtful things are just amplified by social media and by the news right now. And so when you're constantly seeing that kind of shit, it just really brings you down and it can become really damaging. So that's where my head and my heart are right now. I'm drained. <laughs> I've also recognized that when I'm feeling this way, I pull myself away from being grounded and being centered and I'm not really centered in my body anymore. And I can just feel like this domino effect of all of these things happening because I've just spent too much time doom scrolling. And it definitely affected me this week. I still hope you were able to find some enjoyment in this week's vlog. And I promise that I will continue to take care of myself and to hopefully document my life in a meaningful and authentic an encouraging way so that's where I'm at I love you very much don't forget to take care of yourself and wear your sunscreen and stay hydrated you're wonderful and I'm so glad that I'm living this life with you so all right I think that's it I'll see you next week you know that song stuck in my head Funky fresh dress to impress, ready to party. Okay, anyways. Hades, don't eat the box. I did get 